I just can't stop thinking about you Family, channel, and crew. What's up? Like she said, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay. It's foggy, foggy. Where the fog is lifting. It's still going to be lifting around 10. Say hi, Philip. Hi, guys. Can they see your face? You know. Yeah. Y'all been asking about mama. Okay, let me explain myself. <coughs> I definitely, and I done say this, I definitely can't go up in no big stores, which is Sam, Walmart, in the store. I, doctor's orders. But, you know, it, it bothers me. Well, last week I asked Lisa, I say, because she didn't have nobody to go with it to Sam. And I say, well, I'll go with you. And she say, Mama, you can't go in these stores. But I didn't want to put all the burden on her. You know, to be up in that store by herself, picking up all, all the stuff and Cause I know what it is when you go grocery shopping. And I hate to see her, I ain't gonna say constantly, but going in these stores like that. Because you know it 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 really it really bothers me because I don't want her to get sick. I don't want her to catch no no uh COVID or nothing. And once she in the hospital and or she down, I ain't gonna say what we gonna do because it's not all about what we gonna do. Is you know, seeing that she get better, it don't worsen on her and we can't go see her. So like I told her, I say, we gonna eliminate some of this stuff so I say, uh, next week, we should be going into the first part of February. I told her I'm going to give her some extra money, and I'm going to let her <clears throat> go the day that Rian take off. So Rian take can be with her, and she won't be by herself. And I'm going to let her get a whole lot of, uh, vegetables, uh, canned goods, which she already bought some more rice, but I'm going to let her pick up some more rice. I'm going to let her pick up some more flour. Extra things. I'm going to let her pick up extra things that we already have. And some more meat. Because I know we're going to Get ready to have a shutdown, and I'll let her get some more cleaning supplies, laundry detergent, toilet tissue, stuff like that. I'm gonna make a list of what I want her to get. So that eliminate she won't have to be going. And if we run out of milk or bread, I can go right down the street by the dollar store. At 8 o'clock, we didn't open up because hardly nobody be there but, you know, like senior citizen. And I can run in there and get that. But like I told her, I'm tired of seeing her going into these stores. And then she back, she back coughing and she don't be sneezing, but she be coughing a lot. And... I guess that she explained it too because of her grave disease and and by she don't have, had no thyroid infection, you know her her uh, 
her throat like that, but still in all, y'all know what I'm trying to say. I do not want her really sick and coming down with no the COVID. I'm going to call it the Rona. I don't. So that's what I'm. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give her some extra money where she can go get a whole lot of stuff, and she won't have to be going into these stores like that. Because I told her, I said, I, I hate when you gotta do that, and I feel bad if she get sick, and I say, well, is is it'll be. You know, half of my fault because I can't go in the store. And I know these uh, really have to work. And we don't have nobody else to go. Well, I do have a close friend because she said, whatever y'all need me to go to the store, but I don't want to put her in danger. Y'all know what I'm saying? So, anyway. That's my that's what my plans are. And I prayed over it and everything <coughs> else, so I think Riri said she off this weekend or next weekend. But it's gonna be next week. Or whatever she decide that she gonna go. I had the money put aside. They changing the schedule. Well, they the whole schedule at Waffle House, not at Waffle House. But I know next week, if God said the same, going to the place I have to go is to, to the bank and to the light place. And I know I got someone that was like, why would you think we're going to have a shutdown now? I know different states are different, and I know with the new president coming in, what was said and stuff like that. But even if we do not here in Mississippi, Alicia's not going anywhere. That's why y'all have been seeing I've been shopping the way that I have. It's not because I like going to stores, and God knows it's not because I want to spend some money. Because I want my bank account to look really good, okay? But, as I said, because I'm trying to stock up. And he don't eat a lot. Y'all know that. I mean, y'all even see from my hauls. When I do a haul and I buy stuff, when y'all see me show, we still have a lot of stuff left from the previous trip. But if I'm stocking up, it's going to get to a point that I don't have to go out at all, like Mama said. And that's what my initial plans are, so that I would not have to go out, like I said, to get, but to get produce and milk and stuff like that. Um, so... I want to get a lot of frozen foods and, um, you know, like vegetables and stuff like that. It'll just be fresh produce and whatnot. But meats, like Mama said, and even canned goods and even stocking up on, like, all my pantry items and stuff that y'all see with Philip's snacks, like his Jello, because that stuff he eat a lot, Jello grapes. Now, grapes is something I know I'm going to have to just go to Sam's and get because I can't buy... 10 things of grapes because even if I freeze them I would you know I can get them and freeze them but realistically that's stuff that he wants fresh and I don't have an issue going in the say I'm getting apples bananas stuff like that um but that's you go in and go out but as far as having to go get meats and stuff like that no toilet paper paper towels no and I know it may be people that may not say it but they may think it well, you know, you blessed enough to be able to go out and get this food. So are you helping and blessing people? Yes, I am. I just don't talk about it. Because my mama and grandmother raised me to be one of them people. When you help people and you bless people, you don't talk about what you do. You do it. You pay it forward. You do it. You give. And you don't discuss it because you do it from the heart. And when you do it and talk about it, you're doing it for recognition. And that's not the right reason. You do it to bless people period so for those who may have that question but don't ask it or may want to ask it yes we do 
we help our people all the time, people that we know and don't know. My kids do the same thing, and I teach them the same thing. You never talk about what you do for people. Um, because, like I said, it's not. it won't be done for the right reason. You'll be doing it only for man and recognition. And when I do stuff, I do it for my faith and for God and to help, you know. So, with all of that being said, I hope, and like I said, I'm not explaining because I know it's going to be somebody that's going to be like, you don't have to explain. We told you guys a long time ago, we stopped explaining. We used to do it on this platform um, because it was new, and but now we don't. Um, when I talk to you guys, I'm talking to you guys, but I don't like to come back and be answering questions that I already done answered in the comment section. Because it's like I've said it all in a video. So I just need people to really, really pay attention and watch the video so you can get all of those answers. So I won't have to answer them again. Um, and for the most part, everybody get it. And, you know, sometimes you're going to get people that just want to be shady and messy, or, you know. And I'm real good at catching shade. People may not know it, but I'm going to tell y'all, and I say this to mama all the time. When you so in tune with your faith in who you are, people don't have to be outright shady and petty to get the, the smallest little things. And I'm one of those people that do. And I can kill you with kindness. I don't have to be rude to you. I don't have to curse at you. I don't have to be shady back to you. I can be just so kind to somebody who will be mean to me. Or I can ignore you, block you, and never have to say anything to you. Because, like I said, I don't... The only person I owe my life to is God and my parents. And I shed blood for God. I shed blood for my parents and my children. And when I married, my husband. But other than that, I just, you know, that's it. Um, <laughs> the rest is just, I'm nice to people that's nice to me. I'm kind of people who's kind of me. And those that's mean to me. I'm going to pray for you and let it roll because I'm leaving it to God because I can't do nothing with it. If you can't, if them people that's rude and mean and hateful out there and it doesn't, it doesn't have to be on social media, it's just in the world, that's all you can do is pray for it and let it be because if they're not willing to change and they tell you they're not going to change, you can't do nothing for them. You're wasting your breath and your time. So you just got to let God take all control of that or whoever your faith lies in. Cause they the only one that can help them, and if they can't help them, then ain't nobody can help them. Hey, like you gonna lead this world one day? I just be praying that all that all this, you know, the government get their stuff right. Everybody work with the president, and they just come together and get things. Get things, but it's gonna take a while. I know it ain't gonna be just with a snap of a finger uh, overnight, but I hope and everything I'm gonna get back the same like it was. But I just hope everybody, you know, we all work together, wear our masks, do what we supposed to do, social distance. And keep praying that they'll find a solution. And I say, but the Lord gonna, the Lord is gonna work it out just like He do for whatever the weather is. It can be raining, it can be snowing, it can be whatever. Just like He sent the sunshine, He sent the rain. And he he gonna send to end this cure of this virus. And that's my praying word. We don't know when, we don't know how. But I put everything in God's hand. As I do.
But what y'all doing today? Today on this blessed Monday. We all live to see another day. As of now, we don't know what the rest of the day going to be, what the night going to be. But at least we here to see another beautiful beginning. Well, yesterday was the beginning of another week, but it's today is Monday. But I don't have to cook because we got leftover spaghetti that I made. I made the round meatballs and spaghetti. So we're going to eat that today. So I hope everybody have a blessed day. Stay prayed up. Stay safe. Be careful out there. And pray for one another that we all get through this. When I be when I when we be at these stores, I be looking around. Be safety, cause you never know somebody gonna act a fool. And at least you're pumping gas, so. Okay, helper, here go. What you talking? What y'all talking? No. It's my ball and they ain't say, "Peter, you got my candy." He got it. Now pass it to him, please. He got you a York, and he got him two things. You know, he got to get his gum. He been, he been looking for that hubba bubba gum. Well, I'm glad you, I'm glad you, you got you some hubba bubba gum. That's that crab place right there that we went to. And I haven't got hubba bubba oh. gum in a while. You know, we can taste it. Right it's called the Juicy, it's the Juicy Crab Seafood Bar. Mm. It's Mr. and Mrs. Seafood, but it's a juicy crab seafood bar. Mr. and Mrs. Crab, juicy crab seafood bar. That's it. Yeah. We're going to have to go to the one in Long Beach, okay? Okay? Because these people here doing the same thing. Yeah, we're going to Long Beach. I should have figured that because it's 11 <laughs> Just drive on through. I ain't standing in that line. You know a place I miss? Uh, Morrison. Oh, yeah. Oh, we used to go there. <laughs> Every time around the, the first, when my husband get his military check, he said, Y'all come on. Y'all ready? Y'all dressed? We got to go to the bank and go to Morrison. Oh, I couldn't believe you wasn't huge married to him. Morrison, I have Waffle House. That's what it was, huh? And I still eat the same little amount. I used to give me some grits of egg bacon. Turn down a bit. And I'd get me the um, fruit with some cottage cheese on it. And he said, you ain't going back up there again? I said, I'll go get me some fruit. And he said, "You don't need to. You don't need to go with no buffet." I said, "Well, I just give. I just get what I make." Mm -hmm. Now I go up there about two or three times for the fruit, but for the for the food like that, I wouldn't. <laughs> But that that used to be our our number one stop. Nah, I ain't number one stop at Morris. They don't have it no more. Shoot, I ain't though. I used to be in here and we used to go up the uh, Deontay was a little baby then. He used to eat. I'm gonna eat. And what he'll call you? He won't call you Lisa, he'll call you something. He'll say, You ready, we ready to go now. <laughs> he called everybody move. 
Yeah, he yeah, he won miss. He won miss on the most. Or either or either ah uh, or either Waffle House. And I wasn't no big Waffle House fan. The only thing I really did from the Waffle House, I like their chocolate milk, and I would get their um, desserts, but they food, and I still don't, but I have them, and I love their chocolate milk. Yeah, it was fun. Then he'd say, well, we don't have breakfast, now it's up to y'all to find out what we're going to have for dinner. And all I have to say is shrimp and fries, yeah, before I can even finish cooking the fries, he'll stick his hand there while they're nice and hot, and he, I don't see how he would put that hot food in his mouth, and all the grease be running all down, <laughs> down here on his teeth, and he'll take him some fries. And he be like that. Yeah. It's hot. And he be like, Mom, it's hot. And she said, of course it's hot. You're getting it out the grease. And I used to laugh at him. I said, Lord. I sure miss my husband, and God, heaven knows I do. The time you walk my room, I will say, I want a number nine. They doing them Uber Eats now. Hey, people doing whatever they got to do to make extra money. They do Uber mm -hmm. Eats and Dad DoorDash. Like to live, do when they be delivering food from mm -hmm. them places. That's why you seen she had that stuff in her, she was putting it in the trunk. Oh, you see you ain't see that lady on side of her putting them things mm -hmm. in the truck and it will mark Uber Eats and DoorDash. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's that thing like to me, dude. Mm -hmm. like I said, people do what they got to do to make them some extra money, man. Mm -hmm. The Pueblo after some money? That's whole somewhere, baby. Sounds like they going down that way. Mm -hmm. Unless they went back that way. You want large fries in a, sh a medium shape. Huh? Mm -hmm. What kind? Chocolate? Mm -hmm. And what you want, Philip? What's the tomato? What's the tomato for you? Um, can I please get a number nine with no onions, no pickles? You said no onion, no pickles? Yes. Okay. What's your drink? A Sprite with no ice. Okay. I need to get a number three with no onions and extra ketchup. Okay, what's your drink? A large root beer. All right. And I need a medium fry. You said large or medium? You mean medium. A medium fry and a medium chocolate shake. Would that be all for you? Yeah, that's it. All right, 2029. Thank you. No problem. Get me something. Because y'all got y'all something. I'm home. I'm hungry too. I've been helping you all morning with school and whatever. So y'all done chill with us. All I'm going to do is go home. He going to eat while he in the car. By the time he get home, he going to hop back on his computer, finish up his Zoom. I got to finish up my room because I was straightening up some stuff. And I hope y'all enjoy our home. talk about the... <laughs> Everything. Everything. Because we not doing nothing because we're not doing nothing else for the rest of the day. He's going to finish up his Zoom yeah, stuff. Like I go back home and paint my laundry. Yep. And paint it washing candy thank food. You. Thank you. too, thank you. Yeah, oh, that's right, because Candace put her video up. So I'm going to connect Miss Candy Poo to her video. Hey, Candy. I'm going to connect her and Lewis. Hey, Candace, Jemai and Lewis. And we're going to watch her. And that's it for the rest of the day. We ain't and, doing and if you want, you can put back. You can put it on the TV if you want to. Yeah. I don't want to. Do. And then whoever else can post it up a video. Y'all know we gonna watch y'all and y'all see me Hi, in the comments. How are you All right, how are you? Would you like a cup holder? Um, no, thank you. No, okay. This is the root beer. Thank you. This is your sign. The box. This yours. Is your shake. Thank you. It's your shape. These are the fries, and then this is the piece of the shawl in the back. All right, thank you. You're welcome. You have a good day. You want your fries now? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm not like cold fries. Hold on, let me pull it. That's what all of you freeze and cold fries are about. Yeah. It's yours. It's yours. 
can fill up the shores. You fill up, you got to be burgers, right? That sounds like a, like a truck farting. Yeah. Here's your stuff. Go and eat. Say thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll eat when I get home. Say yes. Yeah, say your grace, little one. Say your blessings for you. Yep, your food. I do not like cold fries. Say your blessings. Mm -hmm. There you go. Say your blessings for you too. Cold cool fries, nasty. Yeah, well, I'll be home before they get cold. I can't eat and drive. I got a baby enjoy my food. Right, so like Mama said, we hope y'all enjoyed everything. Just enjoy this. Comment in the comment section below. Anybody that posted up the videos, we will be watching. And Miss Amici, I got you. Oh, I have not forgot. I have not forgot about um doing my cause I'm doing a what you call it? A shout out. I'm just doing like a full video with shout outs. So I will be doing that, and all of y'all will be listed. Everybody that I follow, so y'all can go show support and some love to all of the ladies and gentlemen that i watch so y'all stay tuned to that and that will be in a whole video vlog but until the next time we see y'all as we always tell y'all stay safe stay prayed up be blessed do everything you gotta do to enjoy your time with your loved ones and your family just enjoy every day of life and it is given take it one day at a time Say your peace and joy, y'all. Y'all already know. And if y'all are not subscribed, please make sure that y'all subscribe or y'all subscribe button is hit and y'all notification bell is hit because sometimes YouTube will do it to you and unsubscribe you and they'll turn off notifications. It just happens. So make sure that it's always on. And we'll see y'all later. Say later, Philip. Y'all have a blessed day. Never feel the way I feel. You don't know if my love is.